ไม่ออกหมายพี่ดันค่ะว่าอย่าหมายพี่ดันค่ะค่ะปาหมายพี่ดันขอขอบคุณ好的，谢谢，谢谢，谢谢。Peter looks a little bit strange, and I was surprised. I really, I really like the taste. I especially like them uh, together with the spicy things. My name is Wolfgang Masnick, and I'm Austrian. And I work here in Shanghai, which is a quite a new job for me. I very much like September here. It's not so hot and it's usually nice weather. Uh, but in fact, the most important for me is the, is the musical calibration. So it might be it's really bad weather and we have nice concerts or nice research and in my heart it's like the sun. I hold the chair of music education at the University of Music and Theatre in Munich. I try to combine the subjects I've studied to establish and to promote a form of interdisciplinarily based arts therapies. If we look back, the history of music therapy, beginning of the 20th century, that time medical doctors just used music to help people in psychiatry to relax. Today, we try to find out what kind of musical activities, what kind of arts-related activities can help what type of patients can help in which disorder, and then step by step to do research and to establish elaborated methods. Four years ago, I conducted the same research with Alzheimer patients in Germany. We had patients with Alzheimer disorder. A main symptom is they lose the language, who did not communicate anymore. We applied in Munich is through singing and step by step they began to respond, use the lips to imitate like talking and they began to a little bit to sing. One patient said one moment to one student of mine, you're singing so lovely, you should sing it to me. And those medical doctors, they were shocked. They said, no, that's not possible. This patient cannot speak anymore. He doesn't communicate. And at once, after singing, he did that. So we know using music uses the whole brain. So we think we can profit from bigger neural networks to help the patients. On the other hand, Patients don't cost so much as patients who need 100% and total care. In Shanghai, it's especially music therapy, which is a quite a new subject here. That first time I was introduced to the Department of Music Education, I found it a bit strange. Why? They had piano, they had choir, they had a little bit of music history, music theory, but no music education. And then Professor Udenhong came. Ah! <laughs> Hello! So great to see you. Yeah, it's a long time. Long time. And that was a huge change. She said, OK, that is a department of music education. I think that's important uh, that you promote that. And what you said, we learned to understand each other. I think the core must be music education. So we have to give lectures how to teach, how pupils understand music, how to communicate teachers. But we discovered we have so similar ideas. Yes, it's a good point. That could be a 
Masternak 为我们做了很多事情，它等于是我们了解世界音乐教育的一个窗口。不仅仅写了教材，还担任了三门课的老师，还做了我们学院第一个外国籍的硕士研究生导师。在这个过程当中呢，他讲究体系感和学科核心的定位。那么这一点对于我们的办学来说也是非常有帮助的。当时在国内，音乐治疗是一个完全新的专业。在他的讲述当中呢，我可以感觉到他的学科背景是非常好。他有当时是心理学博士、音乐治疗博士以及数学博士，在实践当中他有很多经验可以在中国实施。所以，我们成立音乐治疗专业，在很大程度上是受到他的鼓励。Music is an important essence of man. So, in music education, the main target is to help the children to discover their own musicality and to to find their own individual love of music. Ah, 你好，哎，你好。所以我们开始，今天我们讨论啊，创造力在国际的音乐领域，我们。认为创造力是一个非常重要的人类的因素。When I teach music education at the conservatory, my responsibility is help master students to better understand psychological mechanisms of learning music. When I give lectures, I do not like just to give a speech. I have to show them how to apply research methods. 所以你们的认识分组讨论，然后设计音乐教育或者音乐律动的方法。So I give them a scientific background, but the next step, and that is very important for me, is to interact with the student. 这一部分我们是你，所以我们现在只出现两头。I rather fail. We are a research team. I pose questions. They give answers. They have questions. I think over. I say that's a good idea. I like flowing water very much. So、I、quite often go to the riverside and I take my notes. And I think music belongs to the basic characteristics of everybody. The level will be different. We have, in music education, helped them to open up, to discover, and develop. Of course, is not to educate top musicians. That is the duty of the conservatories. Our duty is to help people to develop their musicality in the same way. Music education rather helps children, helps people to discover the joy of music, and that's quite nice. What he's doing, he likes music. This person, he deeply enjoyed near the water, sitting there, feeling the wind, feeling the sun. Producing sounds, enjoying life—that is one of the most important things music has.